He did eight years in prison. Welcome to the free world, man. For a crime he didn't commit. I robbed the old man's liquor store. All Bullet did was drive the car. Now, he's out to protect the only thing he has left. The only way he knows how. Bullet's back. Mickey Rourke. Tupac Shakur. Bullet. And action! Bullet was filmed on the streets of Brooklyn, New York, and is based on the real-life experiences of screenwriter Bruce Rubenstein. The story is loosely based on my upbringing. I think it's a story about a uh, dysfunctional family. Uh, a family that's not able to communicate, cannot express um, their true feelings and love for one another, even though they actually feel that deep down. I break my ass to give you boys all the opportunities I never had. What do I get back in return? A convict, a schmuck, and a schizophrenic psychotic. There's a lot of different levels, and layers in it as far as the, the family structure goes. With you got one brother who's very sensitive, who's an artist that has so that has potential. You got ability, and you could do something with this. Get your head screwed on with it. You can make some money. Get away from all this bullshit. Listen, I do what I do. Hey, bro, we're only here for a cup of coffee. You gotta take care of what you believe in. Then you have another brother who is medically misfit, who's a, a, a schizophrenic psychotic. I won't be living here much longer. I've signed up with an elite special forces unit. Don't ask me any information, you see, because even if I was to get caught, I wouldn't tell them shit. See, the shrinks are making progress. It was a close-knit family, as, as messed up as they all are. And he felt like he let his, himself down and his father down, and, and he sort of self-destructed in, in a way where there was not anything else left for him to do. A bullet does feel this need to save him, so Adrian brings a very kind of sensitive, uh, cohesive uh, element. Bullet was off in jail um, since I was about 12, so... I probably uh, have higher expectations of him since I haven't seen him. I'm never ever gonna quit though. Quit this ain't my, my stick. I, I mean, I love him dearly. I look up to him, you know, but I know where he's headed. Bullet crosses paths with his prison nemesis, Tank, played by Tupac Shakur. This movie's like a big chess game between me and Mickey Rourke. Even though he's white and I'm black, it's not about color. It's not like it's a, a race war. Powers. It's strictly a power, so, power work. He just robbed two of my best customers, stuck my man Flocko in the eye, and took off with my product and my cash. I respect Bullet to the utmost, and, if, and under, under different circumstances, I probably would have been allied with him, but he disrespected me first, and so I got to handle it. Bullet is mine. There's a certain amount of respect between these two characters, but ultimately, only one of them is going to be standing at the end of the movie. Wait a minute, please, please, hold on. Let my brother go, man. I'll pay you whatever he owes you. You can't pay me back. Hey, just let my brother go, man. Let, let him go, go Pudge. I can't leave you. Hey, Ruby. I love it, man. Go home. I think the message behind the film is there's a little bit of good in everybody. You know, Bullet seems to be irredeemable. But what we find out in the third act of the movie is what he's been building towards is finding a way to save his brother from going through the same unnecessary things that he's gone through. And I think if you can find that in Bullet, you can find it in pretty much anybody. And I think the movie really shows that um, through these different characters, how if you're not dark inside and you come to this, this world, it'll turn you dark. You know what I'm saying? And so, if you really have sunshine in you, it's not good to play in the dark. It's, it's, it's just going to extinguish your fire. The story really says, like, you know, like, sometimes you can't, you, you can't, if you don't find the love early on, or you can't accept it, or you go without it, and you end up falling in love with that shit you put up your arm.
away for a long time.